Oh, yeah. Pichon, baby. Good morning again, everybody. Welcome to another Fish On adventure. Today we're back out at Port Melbourne, chasing some flathead, maybe snook, and probably pretty sure uh, pinkies. So just at the boat ramp, just launched. Looks pretty flat calm. Going to head out there. I think it's probably half an hour before first light, 45 minutes before sunrise. So. I'm going to head out there, start fishing, and I'll uh, put the camera on when we can see a bit more. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe, and um, check out our other, I think we've got 33 videos now, so check those out. And um, yeah, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and, uh, and subscribe for more. Alright, catch you on the water. Willemsen, wherever that's from. Oh, that's a big tanker right there. Big toll tanker there in a U-bolt. So it's going to fish this little bay. Pretty much a port right there. Princess Pier to the right. And see how we go. Got flooded here last time. Snook and Pinkies, about 40 fish all together, so be mad not to give it a go here. Uh, the tide wise, we got a, it was high tide about an hour ago, I think, so, you know, we got a bit of a run out, then it might go slow due to the uh, low tide, so just gonna see what happens and um, play it out. We can always go and try by the poles in a bit more structure if it slows down or, uh, Move on somewhere else, so Let's see how we go. So I've got um, cut a light soft plastic rig, four pound gear with a little grub. I'm using Munro's today. Munro's soft plastics, great Australian made plastics. Uh, and I've got some of their um, 2.75 inch paddle tails in motor oil to try. Yeah, so on the other rod, I've got a um, Daiwa. Um, hard body, a double clutch in about I think 75 centimeter. So we're gonna flick that because I think there's a few bits of snook around. They were in already, and all these they're lines now, but they were fish. So uh, yeah, there's a few fish there. So I'm gonna get straight into it. Probably put the camera on um, in another half an hour. Look, the first light's just happening over there. So. Another half an hour should be right to be able to see. Hopefully we've got a couple of fish by then. Alright, tight lines, see you in a sec. Just have a few casts with this double clutch. See what goes. So right on that drop now you can see there's a, a few really good markings actually. They probably snook. Oh, snook, they should be taking this. So we're right on that drop off now, which is good. Yep, and that's a fish. On the double clutch. And yep, as expected, it's a snook. Right there. Double clutch, so yeah, I thought those markings might have been snook, so there we go. So, snook are a predator fish, they come in these shallows, especially early, and uh, smack a heap of bait. There you go, nice colours, very slimy, horrible predator fish, big, uh, big teeth. So, here he goes. See ya, mate. <laughs> We're on the board, didn't take long. 
Alright, so it's not going great. So, we're going to go back to plastics. This is a 8 pound braid, 8 pound leader. Just because if I do get a decent flat end, um, Procure bloody tuna super gel, magic stuff. Love sense, just um, masks up any human odor and petrol and things like that. So, especially when it's dark, you might not be able to see it, but they might, might be able to smell it. So, all right, so this is a Munro's 2.5. all day long <laughs> Come on. they fight well fight well Pinky, little pinky, still beautiful. Monterey soft plastics, doing the job. Yeah, I had a couple of wax then. And... Find that 3.75 shelf. There it is, shelf's right off there. Might be a flathead on that now, I reckon. that plastic off that we've got a we've got a four a half a meter drop no 700 millimeter drop off that'll be a fish right away boom this one's a better one it's got some good head shakes that one A bit of drag, be a decent pink. Got a pinky right on the drop, boom, right on that drop off. Perfect.
the Munro soft plastic. Oh, he's in. It's a nice little bay pinky. There we go. Nice pink. Legal pink. Beautiful colours. Put up a great scrap on the Munro's 2.75 paddle tail in uh, Motor. So, looks beautiful. Get a measure. So. Just gone 40, so it's 10 centimetres over legal. Are we going to put him back because we love him? So there it is. There it is. Beautiful fish. Look at the colours. Thank you, mate. You get to go home. See you, mate. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Now we're cooking. Six times out of go at that. Probably bit the end off. They're working. Ferocious pinks.
just on the uh, motor all here and uh, no good so I've just put um, Savage Gear nuclear chicken puddle tail picking up a few pinkies so it just goes to show if it ain't working you've got to change it up what was working this morning in getting bites doesn't mean it's going to happen all day so you've got to change it up that's two and two casts on the nuclear chicken so There we go, finally, a lizard. It's done me the honours as well, so it'd be mid 40s I reckon. Nice chunky little blue spot. There you go. Flatted. So this is a really nice chunky fish. Off he goes, back down to his depths. Oh, I have got a fish. Whatever it is, it's tiny. I think it's another flathead. It was very small, but yeah, it is a flathead. Oh no, it's a snook. That's all I've got. Whoa. The thing with this Laguna reel, it seems to have a bit of a sticky drag. I don't really... I smash that, swallowed it right down. That's the third snook. It's a good one. Oh, shit. There he is. Oh, I don't really want to touch him. So slimy. Go on, get it. Calico candy. 
puertas. Fechão. Bad one. On the top lip. Nice pink. Could be. Here we go. go. Twenty-eight. Well, that's it from us. Um, it's about ten thirty. So, gonna get home. Um, yeah just really slow at the moment so we caught a couple of snook quite a few pinkies I reckon probably caught I don't know 16 pinkies something like that a decent 40 centimeter pinky and then we got a flathead as well so it's been okay I've had to move around this this whole bay here so I've moved around a lot uh, just located some bait and I'm still finding a few fish on the sander but you know, they're very few and far between for small fish as well. So I'm heading home. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Tight lines. See you later.